is something we've been focused on digital currencies for you know a couple decades digital currencies for you know a couple decades we, this is something we've been focused on digital currencies for you know a couple decades we're going to a different economy and we're going to be learning more about that uh, as we go but clearly we're, we're we're learning that things can be done uh, from remote, remote locations we're learning that technology can replace people even more than we thought we're not going back to the same economy. We're going. We're recovering, but to a different economy, and it'll be one that is more leveraged to technology. And I worry that that is going to make it even more difficult than it was for for many workers. In Silicon Valley, and my friends who work in technology know that what we did to the manufacturing workers, we are now going to do to the retail workers, the call center workers, the fast food workers, the truck drivers, and then even bookkeepers, accountants, uh, insurance agents, lawyers, and on and on through the economy. So what happened to the manufacturing workers is a very clear sign. This effort, and China has big plans for this. They intend to seed um, their digital yuan into the global environment by giving it away to visitors at next winter's Olympics. When they arrive at the airport, they're gonna get di yuan digital wallets, they're gonna receive digital yuan, they're gonna use it uh, throughout their visits to Beijing, and then they're gonna take it back to their home countries. They see this as a huge advantage. Why? Because who controls the underlying protocols, who un controls the underlying standards of the future of money will control the future of money. Panel ...that I think central bank digital currencies were concocted in hell by Satan himself. Uh, they are incredible control by governments over everybody's bank account, and they are the... Uh, they're going to create a void of privacy for every individual citizen. I think they're horrible, but I think that's where they want to go. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Crypto, crypto teacher. teacher. And guys, please like and subscribe if you do like what you're listening to. Please inform your friends and family and spread all over social media. It is imperative that we get back to learning finances and understand how the world really works. Because once we understand how the world really works, we understand that it is all planned out. Now, I want to thank those who purchased the books, Crypto Teacher and the New World Order Book. The New World Order Book is going to show you how the world works. It is definitely time to wake up out of your sleep in the times that we're in right now. Plus, guys, we know we're waiting on that next main event towards the end of the year. We had the first quarter event. Like I told you, that would happen. Don't forget this is Shemitah year. And then also, I want to thank those who purchased the three kids' books. It's definitely time to re-educate. And also, those who donate to the Cash Shop Patreon, much love. Keep it coming. Do not forget I have the New World Order cryptos in my Patreon. Do your own research, but going inside of a bear market, you definitely want the cryptos that have real use cases. And much love to those who are shopping at both stores. Keep it coming. And of course, guys, we get into Bitcoin and cryptos first. And right now, we have Bitcoin and crypto slightly up. Guys, we know we have options today, but we also know they need Bitcoin as collateral on the 5th. So we know we normally move up due to open interest. Right now, yield rates are creeping up. So guys, make sure you're paying attention to the actual indicators. We have yield rates, we have volume, we have tether, we have USDC. And then, of course, guys, we have the Fed. And make sure that you're researching the repo, not just pulling the number. You can see how the Fed uses the big banks. Today, they put out a good jobs number, and you know the Fed is going to ride the back of that. But we know those job numbers make absolutely no sense, and you know I've done plenty of videos on it. But now we have the Fed's right-hand man, BlackRock, in the game. And we know Aladdin is undefeated. And it's going to pick the winners and losers of crypto. We have over 20,000 cryptos. And remember, guys, the Fed has to destroy this legacy market. So the legacy market, the stock market, is going to take a big hit right along with cryptos. But we know cryptos are going to rise like the phoenix. The fourth industrial revolution. I'm going to do a Patreon video on that also. The fourth industrial revolution, we know, is the go. Where the robots, algorithms, and drones take over the economy and the sheep go inside the metaverse. And then, of course, guys, we have Grayscale. Moved down to about $20 billion, but we know when it comes to open interest, they start buying. So make sure you're paying attention to the actual allocations. But getting over into a little crypto news, 
We have Binance card users now have access to XRP, Shiba, and Avalanche token. And we know Ripple's XRP is flourishing in the emerging markets. And who's leading the fourth industrial revolution? That's right, the emerging markets. Guys, this was all planned out a long time ago. And we have Ripple promoting CBDCs. It causes financial inclusion, social change. Remember, guys, this is about banking the unbanked, enslaving the unslaved. Cinco G Skynet blockchain tokenization allows the NWO to tax the globe. And remember, the crypto teacher told you. Now, we have Meta enables Instagram NFT integration in over 100 countries. And we know Facebook, Instagram, Twitter are the perfect social platforms, social credit, social working, social shopping. And NFTs are those digital IDs. You can become whoever you want to be, that avatar, when they send you inside the metaverse. And we know all this technology, the fourth industrial revolution, is geared towards the millennials and Generation Z. And this is all they're going to know. If you take the cell phone away from this younger generation, they won't be able to function. The reason why, because now the cell phone is the actual extension of them. That cell phone would tell you 70% about that person. And we see our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram take advantage of that. It's not called a news feed for no reason. You don't just feed the stomach. You feed the brain. You select what you actually want to intake. Now we have Brevin Howard raises more than $1 billion for the crypto fund. And guys, we're still seeing plenty of money coming in to tokenization, this new digital economy, because we know this is the future. And it doesn't matter what country you go to, they have a plan for this new digital economy. And lastly, guys, you know I talk about it and then they write it. A legal soap opera is coming. And we know that's all it is. A soap opera. A movie. Starring Elon Musk, Citadel, and all the ones involved in the failed Twitter acquisition. It's all a big distraction. The same way the SEC is using the Ripple case. A great musician. In order to pull off the trick, he has to have a great distraction. And remember the crypto teacher told you because he knows. When it comes to the New Road Order, it's all planned out. But guys, all I have for you, don't forget about the books, Crypto Teacher and the New Road Order book, plus the three kids' books. It's time to re-educate. Also, New to Cryptos, Coinbase, Bet You, Binance, and I forget book links and crypto links are in the description. The Crypto Teacher Stock Channel, Crypto Teacher Stocks. You have your Kobo, your chip stocks, your banking, your gaming, where everybody's sitting at home get home stocks, the C-Red, the biotech stocks, and where everybody's at home wishing. They were still getting that free money. What are they doing? Drinking and smoking weed. Don't forget about those stocks and you have a wonderful day. The most powerful person in the world is the storyteller. The storyteller sets the vision, values, and agenda of an entire generation to come. Steve Jobs. And guys, you know I truly believe in this. When you look at the New World Order, they're the storytellers. And that's the reason why I wrote my New World Order book. But guys, now it's time to change the current generation. And I wrote three kids' books. You know, I love the Trinity because I understand the power that's in it. So I have three books. We have an opportunity to change the generation, to educate, not just me, but I want to show you that I take action on a daily basis. And I want you to take action on a daily basis, whether it's your job, whether it's in your community, we have an opportunity right now to educate the masses. I posted this on my Twitter account. Please share, but this is a short clip of the three books. There's going to be a clothing line and action figure. Please get these books for your kids, nephews, cousins, friends. So therefore, we can start the re-education now. Because as we see, the fourth industrial revolution foundation is definitely here. Robots, algorithms, drones, taking humanity out the picture. We have to re-educate. But let's get into the video. Part 1. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save the village. Part 2. King Joshua and Grandma Tim. Save New York. 
um, COVID-33, part three. King Joshua and Grandma Tam goes to China. It's mandatory to get part one, part two, and part three of this series. It's time to re-educate Generation Z.